Continuing with our analysis of z-score, let's consider Poe Dameron, who is a male. He has a height z-score of zero. What does this reveal about his height? Well, let's remember back to the first page of this section, and we saw that if a z-score was zero, it means that your value was equal to the mean. So that means that Poe Dameron is equal to the mean for men. Right? Because if the z-score is zero, it means you're equal to the mean. I'll actually write the word equal to the mean. Done. All right, now let's deal with some people that are shorter than the mean. All right, so Princess Leia, who's female, has five feet, one inches tall, while her brother, Luke, is five feet, six inches tall, who is relatively shorter. All right, so real quick, let's figure out their heights in general. Um, I guess I'll do it over here. All right, so Leia, just to figure this out, is five times 12 plus one, which is 61 inches tall. And <laughs> Luke, their both starts with L, of course, um, is 5 times 12 plus 6, right, which is 66 inches tall. Okay, so we've got Leia and Luke's heights in inches, because this whole feet inches thing doesn't do us any good. So who is relatively shorter? Well, let's see here. Let's start with Leia, I guess. So for Leia, we want x minus the mean for women over the standard deviation for women. So she's six, and parentheses around it helps. 61 take away. Now the average height for women was 64.8 and 2.79 was the standard deviation. So 64.8 divide by 2.79, we're going to get a number, and then I'm going to set up Luke right now. So Luke would be x minus the mean for men, in parentheses over the standard deviation for men, which is 66, take away 70.2 over 2.99. We've seen that one before. That's the one we were messing with for the Kylo Ren problem. Okay, so let's go find these values in Desmos. Okay, I'm going to get rid of all these so we don't have to see them anymore. All right, parentheses, 61 take away 64.8, close parentheses, divide by 2.79. There's Leia. And there's Luke. Okay, so she's negative 1.36 and he's negative 1.40. If we do two decimal places, if we do three, we'll do negative 1.362. All right, so she's negative 1.362, he's negative 1.405. All right, so let, let's just think about this for a second. If we think about the number line, or the height number line, let me just put it over here. If I have a zero z-score and I have heights of, well, let's think, for Han and Ray, it was over here at one and two, right? So one Han was just a little bit shy of one, Ray was a little bit over one, right? Matter of fact, I'm going to put them in. So Han was right about here. He was about 0.9. And Ray was over here. She was about one point, I don't remember now. 1.14, right there. So here's Ray. So it's easier to see who was taller, right? She was, because she's farther to the right. She had the bigger number. Okay, but now let's consider Luke and Leia. They're at negative values. Okay, so Leia is at negative 1.36. So she's right here. So Leia, L-E, is negative 1.36. Luke is at negative 1.40, so he's over here. That's LU, negative 1.40. You want to think about z-scores as being on a number line like this. 
So who's relatively taller and who's relatively shorter is a matter of thinking about who's on the right and who's on the left. Because taller values, larger values will be over here. And shorter values will be over here. Right, so taller is on this side, shorter is on that side. Ray is taller than Han, Leia is taller than Luke. She's farther to the right. She's less negative than him. Right? It's not that her value is larger because, well, I mean, it is, but um, a lot of times that's hard to think about because this is a bigger number if you get rid of the negatives. But you have to think about it as on the number line. She's over to the right. Right? He is over to the left. So she's taller. It didn't, it's, it, it didn't ask that, right? It said, who's shorter? He is shorter. If you compare him to all men versus her to all women, he's the shorter of the two. He's to the left on the number line. So I'll write that. Luke is relatively shorter. Now, of course, she's absolutely shorter. I mean, if you put them next to each other, she's shorter than him. But that's not what we're asking. We're asking in relation to their group. If you compare him to all men and her to all women, he is the shorter one. So Luke is relatively shorter because his z-score is to the left of hers, right? Technically, it's smaller. Smaller z-scores are on the left. Larger z-scores are over here, right? His z-score is smaller. And the way to think of that is to the left on a number line. That's what smaller means. There, that answers the question. All right, so now we just learned some valuable lessons that we want to write down down here. So um, first of all, we want to think about z-scores as being on a number line. It really helps. So. There's a number line, zeros in the middle. Of course, this is the mean. The mean would have a z-score of zero. Negative values are over here. Positive values are over there. And it's a number line. The larger values are over on the right side, right? So the farther you are to the right, even if you're negative, the farther to the right, the larger you are, the taller you are. The farther to the left, the shorter you are. Right? It's as simple as that. So going that way is larger going that way is smaller. Okay, then remember what we said back in section 3.2, which is that anything that is beyond two standard deviations away from the mean is unusual. Right, so where would the unusually large values be? Well, on the right side, it's anything that's bigger than two. So over here, if your z-score is to the right of two, right, you're unusually large. So if your z is greater than two, bigger than, right? If that symbol is confusing you, that's what it means. It means bigger than, to the right of. So this is the unusually large values. All right, where are the unusually short values? Well, they're over on the other side. Anything that is negative 2 and less than. Not negative 2 itself, sorry, but less than negative 2. So it's over here. Those are the unusually short values. So if your z is less than negative 2, so if it's negative 2.2, negative 2.5, negative 3.3, you know, that kind of area, that's unusually short or unusually small. Let me put it that way. Unusually small. So this is uh, bigger than, this is smaller than, or less than. So more than, you can think of it this way. If you're more than two, unusual. If you're less than negative two, Usually people are okay with the green side of the house and they get confused by the orange side. <laughs> that confuses them. So just make sure you try to keep it clear, right? So anything lower than negative 2, right? Negative 2.2, negative 2.5, negative 3, etc. Those would be unusually small values. 
Another way to say this, if you've ever been in a math class, is that the absolute value of z is greater than 2. Right? If you're more than 2 away. Absolute value of z is the distance that z is from the mean. So its absolute value is its distance from the mean, and it's more than 2. All right, so let's look at Captain Phasma. She was the female commander of the First Order's legions of stormtroopers. She was dressed all in silver, right? And we want to find her z-score. Okay, so let's look here. Captain Phasma had a height of 6 feet 6 inches tall. So let me figure that out. So 6 times 12 plus 6 would be... Well, 6 times 12 is 72. 72 plus 6 is 78. So she's 78 inches tall. Let's find her z-score. It would be her value minus the mean for women over the standard deviation for women. So 78 take away 64.8 divided by 2.79. Okay, so let me go back into Desmos. And I actually have one for women right here with Leia, so I can actually just get rid of the number that was Leia's number and put in the number that's Captain Phasma's number, and I can see it's 4.73. 4.731 if you want three decimal places. Remember, there are no units. It's not inches or anything. It just is, right? Because what's happening is this is inches and this is inches, and they cancel, so there, there's no unit to a z-score. So what does this reveal about her? So that's her z-score right there. So Captain Phasma is unusually tall. Which, of course, if you've seen those movies, you know that's true, right? So, Captain Phasma is unusual tall, unusually tall because her z-score is more than two standard deviations. If you think about this number line, she's way over here, right? That number line keeps going, and she's well past four. So, she's more than two standard deviations from the mean. For example, if I could figure out if, you know, I don't know, Yoda, if Yoda is negative 4, then he would also be unusual, but he'd be unusual on the other side, right? But his z-score is more than two standard deviations from the mean. And you can tell it by the size of the number. That's what I meant up here with this absolute value thing. So if I just add in that little bit down here real quick. So, for example... I'm trying to think if there's anybody shorter than Yoda. Um, there probably is, but let me, let me just say. Suppose Yoda z-score. And of course, he would have to be compared to um, a million other creatures of whatever race he is. But we'll just pretend. Yoda z-score is negative 3.14 pi. <laughs> All right, so um, he would be unusually short. Right? Because his z-score is more than two standard deviations away from the mean. Oops, and I've run out of space to write that. Here, let me write it this way. Because his z-score is more than two from the mean. Right? It's, it's the absolute value of it. You don't really think about the negative part. You think about the number from the mean. Whoop, I just fit it in there. But I like that. I think I'm going to add that um, as a new letter I. So this will be letter I for future semesters talking about Yoda. I will reiterate, though, it's really about the size of that number. If his z-score is negative 3.14, the negative doesn't really have anything to do with it. What has to do is that if you're at negative 3, you're over here. The size of that number is more than 2. He's more than 2 standard deviations away from the mean by having a z-score that's that large a number. Negative just means that he's on the left side. 